Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Christmas is coming up, and if you're going to do online shopping this year, the earlier you can do it, the better. This year, with the COVID situation, a lot of supplies of things have been sold out, and, and, and it's been tough to get stuff that you've ordered in a timely manner. So if you're going to do your Christmas shopping this year, do it early and get it done. And I'm going to give you today eight gift ideas that I think would be perfect for a tractor enthusiast. And I'm going to, full disclosure here, these are items I sell on my website, help support my channel, and I do appreciate your business. Now, I don't offer just anything on my channel. I could offer a whole myriad of products, but if I don't believe in it, I don't use it. Most of the stuff on there I own and I've evaluated. It's good stuff. I don't want to be the cheaper guy that offers the junk. I'm offering the good stuff, and most of what I offer on my website is American-made, and I've used it, and I believe in it, or I wouldn't sell it. And I'm going to give you eight gift ideas today for the tractor enthusiasts that I think will make your friend or family member that owns a tractor happy on Christmas morning. The first one I want to talk about today is a, a product that I use all the time this time of year. It's the RBI Tractor Light, and RBI stands for Roll Bar Illumination. And this was a joint effort between me and an Ohio-based company that makes lighting for the towing industry. And when a tow truck goes out to retrieve a car or, or, or some vehicle that's on the side of the road, they have to put clearance lights on the back of it. So this company makes not only a high quality light, but a really, really strong magnet. And when I found out what they offered, a, a, something went off in my brain, a light bulb went on and I said, I'm gonna develop one of those for a tractor. And what this light is, is you pull it out of the box and it goes right on the roll bar with two heavy magnets. It's a high quality light with two magnets on it. And then there's a wire that goes down to the switch, which also has a strong magnet on it. And the switch is designed to be indoors or outdoors. It slaps on the roll bar. And then you run your wire to the battery and you have lighting. And the problem with the regular tractor's lights, the lights go right into the loader bucket. It just about blinds you. You're usually better off without the lights than you are with the lights. With this light stuck on the roll bar, it actually illuminates the whole area that you're driving in and is a real, real life changer, especially this time of year when it gets dark so early. So I highly recommend the RBI tractor light, and they're in stock and ready to deliver right now. The second gift idea that I'll recommend for the tractor enthusiast is our custom farm signs. You know, everybody makes a custom farm sign, but I've never found one for the small tractor owner. All of them have got big tractors or old tractors or combines, so we came up with this nice attractive sign that you can either put out by your driveway to denote your place, or you can put it in your man cave or John Deere room. It's a, a laser cut sign with a, a compact tractor on it. It comes in different colors to represent your favorite brand. The only problem with it, it takes three weeks to cut it. Get, get the machine programmed and cut it. So I need the orders in if you're gonna give this for a Christmas gift by the 1st of December, no later, if you want it by Christmas. The third thing today uh, is a product I came up with the idea for. And, and they say all sales is a solution to a problem. I had a problem when I took my tractor out into the pasture or the woods, it was where to carry stuff. And you'd think the tractor builders would put a you know, a big cabinet or something on the tractor. There's plenty of places you could do it where you could store stuff, but there's nothing. So I came up with the idea of a tray, which we call the tractor caddy. And it mounts with, with two brackets to the roll bar, and you don't drill holes in the roll bar. It's all mounted, uh, it's all kept in place by friction. But it's a heavy tray, and you could put a chainsaw back there, or chainsaw fuel, or pruners, or, or whatever you want to put back there, and carry it with you to the field. And it's out of the way, you can strap it down, um, and, and it goes right behind you on the roll bar. And uh, I use mine all the time, wouldn't be without it. It's a great gift for the tractor enthusiast. The fourth item I'll tell you that was a game changer for me was Pat's Easy Change. I was constantly struggling with how to hook up three-point implements. And especially if you've got fixed lower link arms, you gotta back up and get everything just perfectly aligned in order to get into it. And a lot of times I'd have to, you know, hook one side up and then back up the tractor. It was tough to get hooked up. With Pat's Easy Change, you just kind of get back close, and it's an eagle claw. You're going to come up under the implement and lock in place, and then you still got to get off the tractor, hook up your top link and your, and your PTO, but it sure makes getting those lower link arms a lot easier to hook on. It comes in Category 1, Category 2, Category 3, and different configurations available on my website. It's Pat's Easy Change, and it's definitely a game changer. Make your life a lot easier. The fourth item I'd like to talk about, and this is one of my favorite products, is Lube Shuttle. The problem with 
old traditional grease guns is whenever you're ready to change the tube, they have that fiberboard tube in there. And if you change grease tubes often, they're not hard to get out. But if you don't grease that much or you don't use that much grease and they get a little moisture in there, that tube can kind of gom itself up in there and it's really tough to get out of the grease container. Plus there's a spring-loaded plunger that you got to pull up and it's got to lock into place so you can unscrew the end and get that tube out of there. It's a big hassle. I don't know anybody, even if you grew up on a farm, that, that likes changing a grease tube. Like that. Well a lube shuttle is a German-built grease gun and it works on a tremendous amount of pressure. Really tight tolerances and a lot of pressure. And to change a grease tube all you got to do is just unscrew the old grease tube which is recyclable and push a little grit of grease up above the top about a three quarters of an inch to an inch and then screw that new tube in and you're ready to grease again. It's the handiest thing I know and, and one other problem with a traditional grease gun is once you get that plunger down there that thing has pressure in it all the time and they'll they'll hang on the wall and just ooze out grease and make a slick spot on the floor Lube Shuttle won't do that. It's a great product for the tractor owners called Lube Shuttle and it's one of my favorite products and a real game changer when it comes to maintaining your tractor. The sixth great gift idea for a tractor owner is a Land Champ sprayer. If the person you know that owns a tractor has always wanted a sprayer to control weeds and to, and to spray fence rows and things like that, now is the time of year to get a sprayer. And the reason I really like Land Champ, number one, the Land Champ is contoured to the back of the tractor. You'll notice its shape. So the weight of the Land Champ, instead of being way out behind the tractor, is right on top of the back wheels. So if you're on hills, it'll be more stable and less of a safety issue. The next thing I like about a Land Champ is its color. That green color does not absorb UV rays like the old white sprayers do. Most sprayers are white. That color uh, absorbs UV rays and, and degrades the spray inside. So if you leave spray in it and you leave it out in the sun, your spray not, may not work as good. The Land Champ with painted green is opaque and the UV rays won't get through it. I equip every Land Champ with a stainless steel pump, which I like. I equip it with a parking stand, which makes it easy to hook and unhook. Last thing I like about a Land Champ sprayer is I equip everyone with a hand wash kit. It's a little tank on the sprayer with clean water in it. If you happen to get some spray on you, you can immediately wash it out and keep you safe. And I equip every sprayer with one of those. This is a great time of year to order a sprayer. Uh, if you order it this time of year, you'll get it. If you order it in the spring when everybody else is ordering, you may be delayed and you may be past the spray season when you get it because it's such a seasonal product. The seventh thing I'd like to talk about, is, this is not a very romantic gift, but it's something that really open the door to a lot of attachments on a tractor is an extra valve kit. It's a diverter valve that you put on a tractor and if you want to run a grapple on the front of the tractor or a tree shear or a tree puller or anything that requires a hydraulic flow at the front of the tractor you can divert the flow from your either your raise and lower of your loader or your tilt and curl of your bucket and run that flow up to hoses with remote connections on the front that will power a grapple or a tree shear or a tree puller or anything like that. It's called an extra valve kit. I've got videos on my website showing me putting one on a tractor. It's something that most tractor enthusiasts with a little bit of mechanical ability can install themselves and save a bunch of money and it opens up a whole new world of attachments that you can use with your tractor. It's called an extra valve kit. The last thing I want to recommend today for the tractor owner is a canopy. A canopy is a cover that goes over the top of the tractor to keep the sun out of your eyes. It'll make the, being on a tractor and doing work in the summer a lot cooler. It'll also give you a fighting shot at keeping dry if you get stuck in a thunderstorm or a snowstorm or something like that while you're out working with your tractor. I love canopies. The thing I, I didn't like about them and reason I never owned one until I found the Rhino Hide Canopy was because I go back in the woods a lot and you can tear up a canopy when you get into low limbs and I always wanted one you could get on and off the tractor and the Rhino Hide Canopy which is available on my website you can take off real easy take two bolts loose and it comes right off the tractor even a 62 year old guy like me can pull it right off and put it right back on and it's made out of the same material that dumpster lids are made out of so the sucker is tough. You won't probably tear it up and I've got to the point where I really don't take it off that much going back in the woods because it can take a pretty good limb and not tear it up. But if you need to take it off, you can take it off and put it back on. Uh, Rhino Hide Canopy is a great Christmas gift. We were out of them a lot this summer. We've got them in stock now and can ship them and get them there in time for Christmas.
I really want to thank each and every one of you that have bought stuff off my website this year. Hopefully you found great products that solve problems and help make your life easier on the tractor. And I'm going to continue to offer new and innovative products on there as time goes on. If you've never been to my tractor fun store on my website, click right here. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd be honored. Click the mic face icon and make sure you check that bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's another video you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.